All right, uh, it's a treat for some of us, not for all of us. Oh, true. Talking uh, about the weather. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I got you there. Yeah. I see what you're doing. That's usually how it works. <laughs> usually, I, I get a lot of great emails about the weather, like, "Oh, this is great. This is beautiful." And then you get the, oh, "This is horrible. I wish it was." Tell me, you didn't get any of those today. Uh, I, I, more about the the haze in the sky, yeah, which is due to yeah. some wildfire yeah. smoke, which we all get. We're sick of that uh, this summer. But temperature-wise, humidity-wise, this was yeah, pretty beautiful. much where it's at. Now we do have a couple showers that have uh, sort of popped up over the course of the evening. You can see from Beaver County right through Washington. Uh, most of the stuff in Washington's light. It picks up a little bit towards Smith Burgettstown as you get into that northern part of Washington there and a little uh, bullseye uh, near the river there in Beaver County. So we, we still have a couple little showers that have developed. Those are going to be finishing up, but that smoke is going to be sticking around. We were sort of in that heavy smoke band, so the morning sunrise eyes had that weird look to it. The sunset is going to have a weird look to it, and we're going to keep this smoke here uh, largely in place through the day tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we'll start to see those winds shifting, and that should start to uh, cause the smoke to dissipate a little bit more. We'll go from uh, heavy to moderate to light throughout the day on Thursday. So that hazy sky is out there again this evening. Otherwise, 76 degrees, low humidity. Uh, the dew points at 56, 50% 50 relative humidity, but you can see that haze in the background. That's not the humidity causing it like it was last week. That's the smoke. Now we have these temperatures around that are generally situated in these low to mid 70s, but it's much cooler in the ridges. We have mid 60 type temperatures from Somerset back down to Oakland, Maryland, and temperatures tonight are back down into the low to mid 50s in most cases. So if you liked the cool start to the day today, we're going to do it all again tomorrow. Although tomorrow's temperatures are likely going to get just a little bit warmer. We're looking for highs low 80s in most cases. So a little closer to average. I think we're going to get the sunshine going on. And when it comes to the month of August, we're going to see the temperatures largely near average, I think, through much of it. So we're starting the month off cool. We're going to have some warmer days sprinkled in there. And by the end of the month, I think things are going to sort of even out. So we're pretty close to average month expected temperature wise. Now, precipitation wise, we're going to see chances here into the next couple days. Tomorrow we get up another quiet start like today. This model wants to pop up a very isolated shower. I think it's going to have a harder chance than what we experienced today for one of these showers to get together. But no, Thursday, especially late and early Friday, we're going to get a couple of these showers moving in, but no big rain chances coming up. So mostly clear skies tonight, a comfortable one at 56 degrees and tomorrow's temperatures will make it back into the lower 80s. A nice day, still a little smoky in those skies with 82 degrees. And you can see here these temperatures through the day build up quite nicely. We're talking low 80s by the time we're late afternoon and early evening. And from there, I think our temperatures once we get into tomorrow night and early Thursday won't be quite is cool will be low 60s and that'll set us up for some warmer temperatures to round out the week mid 80s in most cases through Monday actually Sunday Monday a few showers and storms and then we'll quiet things down by Tuesday. All right Ray thank you.